Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to make a frequency counter without microcontroller. However, nowadays you can buy frequency counter with higher bandwidth for less than 10 bucks. But I designed this circuit to explain you how frequency counter working. First of all, let's see what is the frequency. The frequency refers to the number of cycles in one second. For example, here we have 3 cycles in 1 second. So the frequency here is equal to 3 Hz. So all you need here is a counter that counting the number of cycles in 1 second. But it has to be reset every 1 second. Otherwise it stay counting to infinity. In this circuit I'm using 4011 IC. This IC using for count up and count down and can be connected to the 7 segment directly without any driver. This is my circuit. It consists of 9 ICs and 7 pieces of 7 segment display. To make it easier to understand how this circuit works, let's take a single IC with its 7 segment. There are 3 functions in this IC we have to use in them. Count up, latch, and reset. However, this IC also has countdown function, but we don't use it in this project. When I connect pin number 9 of the IC to the VCC using this push button, the 7 segment count up. And by connecting pin number 5 to the VCC, the 7 segment back to 0. But what is the latch function? The latch button connected to pin number 6. When you push and hold this push button, the 7 segment display freezing. So by pushing the count up button, the IC count up but the number on the display didn't change in, as long as I press the latch button. But when I release the latch button, the counted number appears on the display. Now I want to convert this single digit counter to frequency counter, to count the frequency up to 9 Hz only. In this case we need 0.5 Hz oscillator to reset the counter every one second using this transistor and connect the collector to the input frequency to be count. The base of the transistor connected to 0.5 Hz oscillator and the ammeter of the transistor connected to pin 9 of the IC. This capacitor reset the IC every second and the latch enable connected to 0.5 Hz oscillator. Here I take the 0.5 Hz from this function generator and the frequency to be test from the second function generator. As you can see it's working. See what happening when I removing the latch enable pin. It is still working well but the counting process appears on the display and stop counting when reach the input frequency. So using the latch enable giving you the final result without showing the counting process. To making this oscillator we can't use in triple 5 IC because the output frequency in a triple 5 IC are not accurate. So we have to use in a crystal oscillator. I'm using 32.768 kHz crystal. Then I'm using 24060 ICs as frequency divider. The first IC divided this frequency by 4096 times. The second IC divided again by 16 times. So the final output frequency will be 0.5 Hz with high accuracy. To increasing the number of digits, we have to connect in several ICs together, as shown here. But you have to connect in pin number 10 of each IC to pin number 9 of the next IC. Then I convert this circuit to PCB and I went to PCBWay.com. Insert your PCB size, quantity and color. Then click Add to Cart, upload your Gerber file and complete the payment. After about 2 months I received my package. Then I soldered the components on the PCB. As you can see it's working. But the counted frequency slightly is less than what it have to be. 
when the input frequency is 1 MHz, my circuit reading 999.88 kHz. It is very close to 1 MHz. But as I said before, this is just an educational project. I think there are some problem in the crystal oscillator because I take it from an old circuit. You can order this PCB from PCBWay.com. I put the link below in the description. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.